couple of parents this is mr Taralva. some of you asked about the first and math goal for the month of october now for the month of october we are reviewing the math facts that we worked on or learned back in august so the goal for all students is to go ahead and review those math facts and actually earn a higher score than what they did back in august our goal is to fluently add and subtract within 10 for the first nine weeks. We're moving on to 12, 16, and then 20 by the end of the school year. So what I'm asking students to do is to go back to the just the facts, choose the 10 by 10 option, whole numbers, and again, work on their addition and subtraction math facts. Now, once they master those two skills, they will obtain a golden star, and the golden star will appear right under the sign. If they master both of them, they can definitely go on to just the facts, 13 by 13, and again, work on whole numbers, addition and subtraction skills. If they master all four areas, then they can definitely move on to the multiplication. If they don't have golden stars in those two, addition and subtraction, 10 by 10 or 13 by 13, they must master those two skills. So let me show you what the graph will look like once they master the addition and subtraction in both 10 by 10 and 13 by 13. So this is a student that has mastered already their um, his addition and subtraction math facts. So if I go to 10 by 10 whole numbers, you'll see a golden star for addition, subtraction, and a silver one for multiplication, meaning that this student has mastered all math facts within 10, or within 20 actually, by getting a golden star, all subtraction math facts, and now he's working on multiplication math facts, and therefore he's getting a silver star. So, so his goal will be to get a golden star in multiplication. Again, their goal for the month of October is to score higher or to master all addition and subtraction whole numbers 10 by 10. Thank you.